Hey, hey. TGIT. It's not TGIF. It's thank God it's today. No TGIFs ever again. Don't wait for Friday to be happy. Don't wait for Friday to be grateful. Don't wait for Friday to be thankful. Thank God every day for each day. Oh, look at you guys bringing me the hearts. I love you guys. Love, love, love you. I have missed you guys so much. I've taken some much needed time off and uh, enjoying this week down here at the beach. And I want to talk to y'all about something today, but first I'm going to show you a little bit of beach while I can see because my phone tends to turn off to this beach mode. So let's show you some beach while I can. It was crazy. Today started off with a sea fog, which in my 27 years of being down here, I lived here for almost seven of those. I had never seen a beach fog and it was actually so beautiful. But as you can see, we have glitter water now, which is my most favorite. And the water is absolutely beautiful today. And it's just gorgeous. It feels amazing. It's incredible. So let me give you just a second to hop on, whoever's hopping on. Come on now, give, give God some hearts. Forget about little Tammy. Let's give God some hearts. Look at this beautiful creation. Look at what God created. He's pretty amazing, I'd say. Yep. Yep, yep. All right. Let's talk. My thing for today is, are you seeing the signs? So, you know, I, I'm a sign person. I ask God for signs all the time, you know. A couple of months back, I asked God specifically to be my fortress, to protect me from anyone or anything that wasn't supposed to be in my life, and to remove them quickly at all costs, even if it hurt. You know, I was like, just remove them. Don't let them in or remove them quickly if I let them in. Thank you for the hearts. I love you. Hearts back. Um, and you know what, that's not always fun. You know, because you, I, you may not be this type of person, but I want to see the good in everybody. I want to see the good in everything. And I, you know, I want to believe that people are good because that's my heart. But people have agendas and people, people have motives and they're not always in your best interest. So when you ask God for direction, wisdom, guidance, and signs, you need to believe him when he shows them to you. Ooh, I'm a stubborn girl and he knows this. I'm very, very stubborn. So he'll show me the sign. And I had a good friend of mine say, well, how many times do you want God to prove something to you? When he shows it to you the first time, you should believe him. True story. So it, it takes me a little longer because I, I really do love people. And I really do want to believe that people are out there for good, but that's not always the case. So that it's harder for me, but uh, your gut instinct, if I could go back and tell my youngest self anything is whenever you don't feel right here down in your gut, then it's not right. And when you start to feel that, go with it. Believe your gut instinct, okay? Believe it. When something's off here and like, I wasn't sleeping at night, you know, praying about a certain situation. When I couldn't sleep at night, you know, God was like, if you're questioning it so hard, you already have your answer, Tammy. You already have your answer. Quit asking me for signs. That is the sign. No peace and no rest and not sleeping is the sign. Duh, hello. So here's the funny part of that today. I just went to eat at my one of my favorite restaurants down here, it's called McGuire's. Um, it's not a chain, but the first one is in Pensacola or what we call Floridians that have lived here call it Picola. So Picola was the first McGuire's. It's a steakhouse, but they have everything. And I've eaten there literally hundreds of times, never had a bad uh, service time, never had a bad meal there. It's always consistent, it's consistent. 
But here's what's funny. McGuire's does this little thing where they put a sign on the bathroom doors. It's their signature thing. And the sign says, ladies, really big, but it in small print it says, men don't enter, this is the ladies room. Or it's vice versa, how does that work? This is the men's room, ladies don't enter, that's what it says. And then it's the opposite on the ladies, you know, it says men's and it's like, you know, ladies don't enter, men don't enter, this is the ladies room. So anyway, I'm in there, I went to the restroom and I come out and there's a man in the stall <laughs> using the restroom. And I was washing my hands and I'm watching him in the mirror. He left the door open, everything. He's just back there using the restroom, you know, facing away, you know. But I was like, why didn't he see the signs? You know, he didn't read the sign, but why didn't he see the signs that, oh, this isn't typical, there's no urinal. I'm in a stall. There are only stalls here. So I'm giggling, waiting for him to come out because I was about to enlighten him. So he comes out and he turns around and he sees my face and I said, you didn't read the sign. And he goes, expletive, expletive. I'm so embarrassed. Oh my gosh, he kept on. Oh, oh, this, that, oh, blank, blank. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. And I was like, it's okay, but just make sure you read the signs. And you know, this lady and I, she came out and we were washing our hands together and we were just giggling about it and laughing about how embarrassed he was. But that's whenever God was like really talking to me, like people don't read the sign. They see what they want to see. They saw the big print that said ladies. They saw the big print that said men's and they assume, oh, this is good. This is my sign. This is the men's. This is the ladies. When in actuality, you have to read the fine prints. So are you seeing the signs? Are you reading them when they're right in front of you? Because you have to take the time to be sure about where you're actually going. And if you don't read the signs in the small print or listen to God when he's trying to show you, you're gonna miss it. You're gonna mess up and you're gonna make a mistake and you're gonna say blank, blank. Where am I at? What am I doing? I look like a fool. I feel like an idiot. That's how that gentleman felt today. But we, you know, just encouraged him, read the signs <laughs> from here on out. <laughs> I laughed so hard, it was greatness. But in all actuality, that's what I have to look at it myself. I have to look back and kind of laugh at myself and go, yeah, you messed up. You said blank, blank, you messed up. What am I doing? Where am I at? But you just have to learn from it and you just have to go forward move forward and know to read this fine print the next time you read a sign and you want direction so that's where i'm at with it so i hope this spoke to someone today i'm all about that one person ask for the sign but be patient enough and smart enough to read the fine print to feel that gut instinct and to go with it if you're not sleeping or if you're even questioning a situation, that's kind of telling you what the situation is and the reality of it. Why are you questioning it so hard? It was a wake up call for me, you know? I mean, God is really, really point blank and he was really point blank with me. If you're questioning it so hard, you have your answer. So stop questioning yourself, your own self. You know what you're feeling here. You know what you're feeling, girl. So stop questioning it. You know the answer. Stop asking me for signs. That instinct is the sign. That questioning is the sign. And it hurts. And sometimes it sucks. And it's hard to go through things, but I'm learning. Life is a journey and it's a learning process. Every single thing we go through, every single day, there is a lesson if we will be quiet enough and wise enough to hear it and to listen and to feel it, to feel it. So read the signs, read the small print, and if you're questioning it, you already have the answer. So I love, love, love you guys. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. I can't see a thing. <laughs> I can't see a thing, so I'm trying to figure out how to get out of here. My phone goes into this sunshine mode and I, I just can't see anything. 
Alrighty, I love, love, love you guys. TGIT, thank God it's today. Gosh, I hope this touched somebody. I hope this speaks to somebody because you know what? My pain is your game. I'm sharing my life lessons. I'm sharing my hardships. I'm sharing my trials to try to help somebody out there. That's, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm called to do. That's what I'm going to do as long as I have breath. So I love you. Love, love, love you guys so much. My TGIT tribe, you're the best. Thank you for your support, your love, for following me. Share this if you think it could touch somebody or tag somebody if you think they need to hear this message. That would mean everything to me. I love, love, love you guys, and I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. TGIT, thank God it's today.